welcome back to a brand new video. I'm gonna put these away now. I, that just looks more stupid than I thought it would. Okay, so there's a lot going on right now. It's Halloween, first of all, so happy Halloween, everyone. Even if you don't celebrate Halloween, happy Wednesday, I guess. Um, I understand that a lot of people don't celebrate it, but I do want you guys to comment down below if you guys are gonna dress up as anything right now. I am a Slytherin. I have the full getup. I have the wand. I have everything. Um, later on, I'm probably going to be something scary to scare all the kids because why not? But let me know if you guys are going to be anything during Halloween. My wand does not want to go back, so I guess it's going to have to, like, stay out now. Um, getting into, like, this whole camera quality. They were out of cameras today, and I was so upset because everyone, I guess, is taking selfies during Halloween and they want to post their fucking adventures with their friends, I guess. I don't know. So they were out of cameras, but we have the mic today, which isn't too bad. But I apologize because this is not my usual style of video. Usually I have much better quality, as you guys know. But today we are doing a live reaction to Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest Chapter 11, which just came out. They have one last week, so it is very much anticipated. Getting into the review of not last week, but the week before that, Chapter 10. Um, we left off with Urza getting her power cut, so that was like the gist of that chapter. But the reviews, the poll, oh my god, okay, so 61% of you thought it was 5 stars, 19% thought it was 4 stars, 9% thought it was 3 stars, 4% thought it was 2 stars, and 4% thought it was 1 star. So some people really disliked that chapter. And um, I was talking to a couple people about it, and they thought it was because Urza getting her power cut seemed like a stupid thing to do. I don't know. Personally, I thought it was pretty interesting because now Lucy, or the girl that was with the water... Lord Water God Dragon is going to have to step up and fight against uh, Kyria. I don't know what Lucy could possibly do, but perhaps she's been training. I don't know. Maybe they're going to just do something new with Lucy. I'm not too sure. I think she still has her Aquarius form underwater, so I mean maybe she can succeed in doing something against Kyria. I don't really know. But anyways, with that, there is a poll in the top right hand corner for you guys to rate this chapter, chapter 11, five stars, one star, anything in between. I'm hoping that the ratings are a little bit better, but if not, that's totally fine. That's your guys' opinion. Um, I have not seen this chapter, so I'm really eager to get into it. So with that out of the way, let's just get into the video. One thing I should mention though, is that um, since I want this video to go out on Halloween, I'm gonna try my best not to like edit me stuttering and then like redoing it, because Okay, just to be real with you guys, I have, like, anxiety problems, and it makes me talk kind of, like, funny, and it makes me stutter sometimes because I get really nervous, especially being on camera. So I'm going to try my best to slow it down so that way I don't have to edit too much and get it out. So I'm sorry if at certain parts I do stutter a little bit. It's just, I mean, I can't really help it, so just bear with me. I really want this video to come out on Halloween because I just want to wish you guys all a Halloween. I just want to wish you guys all a happy Halloween. So that's just my gist of it. This chapter also is, I found it on a kind of sketchy website because I don't think that the official translation is out. So if some things don't make so much sense, um, I apologize, but this is the best we're going to do. I think the raw chapter just came out uh, yesterday, so bear with me. So we start off with Grey and Juvia fishing, I do believe. Tense battle against Bia Diablos. Urza's strength has been cut. Alright. Again, sorry if the transitions to next pages are a little bit iffy like this. Like, the ads and stuff. Ugh, don't you just love that? Alright. Please forgive me. Urza-san, snap out of it. You cut off her, her strength? It's so cute when even the most sturdiest of warriors become like this. Curse you, not going to hold your head high. She seems, like, too evil for her own good, you know? Like, someone's gonna kick her ass. And she just stomped Urza's face into the ground. Okay. It hurts. Please. Get away from Urza's- Yes, Windy! Get it! I love how, like, her move almost looks reminiscent of Natsu's. Like, when he has the fire dragon's uh, punch, it looked really reminiscent. You can see her, like, growing up to be more and more like him in a good way. Like, his good qualities. Dragon Slayers, one, one this small? Even though she is small, Wendy is a proper mage. It has, it has nothing to do with being small. She's just bouncing around. No one's landed an attack yet, which is wonderful. 
A pi oh, w Lucy did. A pitfall, a pity technique. Um, can we stop talking about little already? <laughs> Tearing roar of the blade dragon. I'm really hoping that Lucy's gonna be able to do something here because I don't know she just gets shit on so much and it's like just step it up you know Wendy went to go protect Urza Caramel watch out Ca Caramel every single translation that I see her name spelled different I'm sorry water god Sama of course everything's just cut into pieces not a good position for my back. There is nothing and no one I can't cut. I told you. So, okay. Here's the thing. She says this so freaking much that you know that it's gonna get to the point where she can't cut something and she's gonna be like, impossible, what are you? And then be like, some kind of monster? You know, like that always happens. Ice make lance. Ice make lance has never worked against any enemy other than like really small ones. Like what makes you think it's gonna work now? Hammer. Ashes to ashes. My magic renders everything to ash. Okay, this is so much like plot, like rep repetition of the plot. Like we've already heard all of this. His demon slayer magic. Maybe this will work. The sea has frozen. What is this magic? Oh, do you think you got him? The last panel looked like you got him. Ice devil zero lo zero th long sword. He turns his wound to ash, imagine. Oh my god. Gray looks really cool in this, in this panel, I'll admit. Is it not? There you go. Oh, he just froze him, okay. The ice is gonna turn to ash. Be it ash or whatever else, if it can be frozen, I will freeze it. Exactly. Be it the ocean or ice. As long as I as it has a form, I will turn it into ash. Okay, so this is kind of like when Freed went up against um, the guy who has memory make magic. He had this certain line where he said, as long as it's, um, or was it Ultir? It was Ultir. When he was going up against her, she said, as long as it's not anything living, that she can destroy it or like um, make it age to the point where it won't affect her. So I'm sure that Gray's gonna have some way around this, I just don't know what it is, because he's come up with things before. And that's what this fight is kind of reminding me of. Love these slow transitions. Absolute Ash of the Skull Dragon. You gotta admit, Hiromashima is pretty creative with the different types of dragons that he has. Like an Ash Dragon, like what the hell is that, you know? It's pretty, um, unique. And he just turned the ocean to ash. You fool, turning the sea to ash. It will make all of you disappear, become ash, and crumble to dust. What is this magic? If this keeps up, even Elmina will be gone. Ice make. Let's see what he's gonna do. Silver. Ice becomes ash. I will freeze that ash. The logic here is kind of spinning me. This magic power. Demon, huh? Interesting. However, our staple food are dragons, not demons. <clears throat> so please forgive me for not eating from the dining table. That drawing doesn't seem as detailed as I'd wish. He kind of looks odd. Maybe this chapter is put together really fast. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. That panel kind of looks sloppy. And that's the first time I've seen it. Uh, ah, I hope I didn't click something else. No! <gasps> no! I clicked something else. I'm sorry if that was ripped to people's eardrums. Alright. Black ash. Isn't ash already <laughs> Oh, uh, so Gray's demon form went away. <gasps> Wait a minute! Oh no. He got ashed. This isn't. Wow. 
Wow, they really got their asses handed. It sucks because Natsu's not even hurt. He's just motion sick. Everyone's cut up. I think Wendy's getting up. Water God Summon. Oh, he's really cut. Huh, what is going on here? Like, obviously, Gray is not dead because they're not gonna kill Gray, but it's like, how is he gonna get back from that? How foolish. Magnolia. Juvia, you somehow made it rain. It's not Juvia's fault. I keep telling you, it's not Juvia's fault. You said it already. Levy is still definitely pissed. My investigation keeps dragging on. Maybe you should just stop and wait for Jalal to come back and give you that piece of the plot information that you're missing. Alright. Natsu Sama, hurry up and get back, won't you? I finally- Oh my god, is that Jalal? I finally found you, White Mage Toka. Meanwhile, Jalal, his divine magic power inside- Pouring rain? His divine magic power inside the pouring rain. Okay, I think that's the end of the chapter. Let me stop this. Okay, so... What do I think of that chapter? I'm curious to know if Toka's the one making it rain. Or is it Jalal? Is something in the rain that's gonna suppress her magic so he'll be able to conversate with her without her attacking him? You know, or is she actually a good mage and they need her help? Or because no, because he wouldn't be telling people to not communicate with her. It just seems a little bit against Jalal's character to have a battle in the middle of Magnolia with people there, like living in the houses right there, because before he's always been so careful about that. So it is kind of um, different. Other than that, I'm interested to know how Gray's gonna get back from turning into Ash. Like, obviously he is. It's just a matter of, like, is Toka gonna help him? Like, does Toka have those kind of powers? Is, like, how is he gonna come back from that? I don't, I don't know anybody's magic powers being able to do something like that. So it's gonna be interesting if they introduce someone new or if someone's gonna have that ability. Um, I am disappointed that Lucy, Wendy, and Carla got knocked out so fast because it just goes to show like how Wendy's power level has risen above Lucy's obviously because of her dragon slaying techniques but it just goes to show like how dumb Lucy's magic power is like I love Lucy I wish that she was more powerful it just she gets shit on so much so this kind of sucked but it makes sense because they wanted to show just how powerful the dragon eaters were. So I'm going to give this chapter like a 4.5. I feel like there is some things that can be improved on, but other than, like, it's still good. Like, we're still beginning, so we're not going to get all the answers right away. But, you know, it just sucks seeing everyone knocked out. But anyways, don't forget to hit, participate in the poll in the top right hand corner. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell down below. As I mentioned before, this is not my usual style of video. I usually have much higher quality content, but every once in a while, the all of the cameras are taken, so I have to resort to using this beautiful mic here. But, you know, please hit the notification bell because that's the most important thing. Uh, being a small creator and not having a set schedule because of my college schedule, it sucks because I do put out content every single week. It just doesn't get delivered to my subscribers because of YouTube's algorithm and I won't even get into it. If you want to hear more about it, go watch my Dear Subs and Viewers um, videos. It doesn't mean that you have to subscribe, but if you want to learn a little bit more about it and hear from a small creator, that's there for you. I will link a playlist to all of my other videos down in the description below. Please, please have a safe Halloween. It's going to get crazy today, so please be safe. And again, happy Halloween or happy Wednesday, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!